Welcome to another episode of Get Your Greek On with Spiro. I happen to be right now today in Andrea's kitchen, <laughs> which is my wife. And uh, we are going to be cooking uh, an easy dish that we make at the restaurant. It's our version of chicken masala called Chicken Mavrodafni. But before we start, I want to say thank you for watching us. If you like the video, please subscribe, follow us, and of course, please stay healthy and safe and stay home. Nothing is important as family, friends, and health at this time of need. Uh, so the dish that we're going to be making is what we make at our restaurant, which is Athena Mediterranean Cuisine. Uh, it's located at 535 6th Avenue in Park Slope, Brooklyn, for those that don't know who we are. Uh, we've been around for 12 years. We make a lot of dishes that are classic, but also some dishes that are very unique. And one of the dishes that we are going to make today, again, is our version of chicken marsala. And the ingredients today we're going to be using is our chicken breast. Now the chicken breast usually is going to come out very thick. So what you want to do is that you want to cut it into smaller pieces, remove all the fat, and you know, just by slicing it thin uh, uh, across. We're going to be using our butter, some chicken stock. We're going to top it off at the end with a little bit of dried parsley, flour, sauteed mushrooms that we sauteed with extra virgin olive oil, just a little drizzle. And then what we did is that we put added salt, pepper, and oregano, let it get a little dark and uh, soft. Uh, we also have, this is, this is the main ingredient, this is Mavrodafni wine. This comes from the island of Patra, it's a sweet Greek wine. Now, you don't have to use a sweet Greek wine. You could go out there and use any kind of sweet wine. Uh, or uh, Your version, of course, we're gonna use extra virgin olive oil. We're using Sparta olive oil because I am from Sparta and I like to represent, go Spartans. And uh, we're also gonna use some sea salt. Of course, this happens to be Greek and some fresh ground pepper. That's it, it's very simple. And what we're gonna do is that we're gonna start off with our beautiful oven over here, my wife's kitchen. And uh, we're gonna start it off with a little bit of olive oil. We're just gonna put it at the bottom of our pan. Now you don't have to go crazy with this. It doesn't have to be extra virgin Greek olive oil. I like to use olive oil, but of course you use whatever you like. Just put enough to cover the pan, that's it. Okay, you don't have to go crazy. Now once this heats up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the, uh, the chicken breast. We're gonna dip it in flour. Now it doesn't have to be white flour, it could be whole wheat flour, whatever you like. You could even use the gluten-free flour, which we do have at the restaurant. Uh, we're also gonna be uh, adding a little bit of butter, chicken stock, salt, pepper, and uh, our dish will be ready in a few minutes. Before we get that, something about me now. So, the people that know me, uh, they know that I'm a little wacky, and uh, I decided to Give myself a haircut. I said, eh, how hard could it be? So I got the razor. I put it on high so it doesn't cut a lot. And I went across. I said, damn, messed it up. I said, let me try to fix it. So I tried to do it on that side. Oh, my God. So anyway, the outcome is not what I expected, but this is what we got. <laughs> and my wife, she asked me, she said, please, let me be there. Let me be there. But I decided to do it on my own and now I am bald. <laughs> so uh, uh, okay so I think uh, the oil should be getting a little hot. Uh, if you start seeing the oil getting a little bit of bubbles you know that it will be hot enough for you. Um, it's not quite there but we're gonna just start. So we're gonna take the chicken breast and we are gonna put some flour on it. Okay get it nice and coated in there and we're gonna put it in the pan. All right now my wife has an alarm in here that goes off no matter what. Uh, it's a smoke alarm, unfortunately. It does go off quite a lot. So wash your hands after you use any kind of raw meat. Try to get it you know, nice and clean, especially nowadays with all this craziness with the coronavirus. Okay, so we have our spatula. Now, the thing is that when it cooks, you want to remove the oil. That's the important part. Okay, so we are going to remove the oil. So you notice that it's getting brown now on one side. You want it to get that little brownness. See how it's getting a little brown? A little bit more, and then what we're going to do is we're going to flip it. Uh, I'm going to turn on the fan in here just one second. Excuse me. As you can see, we already got it to the nice color that we want. Now we want to flip it. Now because it is kind of thick, 
you want to make sure that the inside is not pink. So you want it to saute a little bit more just on one side. And then we're going to add all of the ingredients. Now as you can see I didn't put a lot of oil. There's very, very little oil in here. So we could actually add our other ingredients, which we have the sauteed mushrooms. So the chicken stock, now because it is burning, it's coming out like a nice golden brown. All right, so we're going to add some of our ingredients. We're going to add the marble daphne. First of all, let's add our mushrooms. Okay, nice. They're already cooked, so you don't have to worry about them. Then we're going to add a little bit of our chicken stock. Okay, a little more. Okay, let's not forget our salt and pepper. Okay. And we're going to add our marble daphne wine, but we're going to let it simmer a little bit. Let it mix in. Mix in the salt and pepper. Okay, so the last, uh, we're going to add our Mavro Daphne wine. So, you know, be as generous as you like. Give it like where it turns to a brownish color. Now you can also add, we also add, which I don't have unfortunately here, uh, we could add veal glaze, a little bit of veal glaze. It's a veal stock. Or also you can add the um, truffle oil. Just a little bit of dab of truffle oil gives it a very aromatic flavor. Uh, it's my fault. I was at the restaurant picking up stuff and I did not pick up the... Uh, <coughs> the truffle oil. So now, as you can see, it's cooking, but it looks very, very light on the color. Now, how do we get it to thicken up? So there's this technique. You take a little bit of butter, and you dip it in the flour, and what you do is that you mix it with the flour and butter, and you put it right in there. Boom. And what's going to do is that it's going to glisten, and it's going to give it a nice glistening coat, uh, coat excuse me. <clears throat> on that. <clears throat> because it is a private kitchen and we, we want you to hear us talking. We shut off all the fans and everything. So <clears throat> I gagged a little bit from the smoke. But uh, basically this will be ready in about another two, three minutes. And then what you want to do is maybe set it up with uh, over rice. Uh, the way we serve it is over rice with string beans. So they will call it butter or broccoli or asparagus. That's always good. <coughs> Sorry. But again, thank you for visiting us. Uh, the dish will be ready in a couple of minutes. I want to thank all my customers and all my friends out there that are staying safe and healthy. Take care of yourselves because there's nothing more important than family. We're here for the long run. We're not planning to go out of business. We're going to come back stronger than ever. But what I need from you guys is I need for you to stay home, subscribe, follow us. And hopefully we'll get through this through as soon as possible. I love you. God bless. As you can see, the chicken is ready. It took less than 10 minutes. And we made the sauce. See how it thickened up? Because that flour. Just pour it right on top. And of course, if you want to garnish it with anything, I always prefer a little bit of uh, dried parsley to give it. Give it a little bit of color, and that's it. Cotopula Mavro Daphne, breasted chicken with mushrooms, and a little bit of Mavro Daphne sweet Greek wine. Again, thank you and God bless.